uh, Lena and Jane have centered on the beautiful counsel to the church that's given in section 162. And in that spirit, I'm going to read another short passage uh, from that. Listen carefully to your own journey as a people, for it is a sacred journey. Listen to its teachings and discover anew its principles. Do not yearn for the times that have passed, but recognize that you have been given a foundation of faithful service, even as you build a foundation for what is yet to be. As we consider the question of our theme this morning that Lana has already talked about, whom will you serve? We might be, or at least I hope we'll be, ready collectively to say we want to serve God, of course. This morning in our uh, pre-worship meeting, we were asking whether we knew it or not, the question, how can we best serve God? The ancient Israelites felt that they would be able to best serve their Lord by keeping the Mosaic law. Obey the rules. God will be happy and will bless you. Jesus came and tried to share and help his followers see that the rules were a place to start. But he also taught us that two of the rules were particularly important. Love God with all your souls, with all your hearts, and with all your minds and love your neighbors as much as you love yourselves. When Jesus was asked by a lawyer, there was always some lawyer present asking questions, Jane, who is my neighbor? And his answer was to tell them the parable of the Good Samaritan. And so the answer to the question was, anyone in need is your neighbor. Anyone who is hurting is your neighbor. Anyone who has been beaten down by life circumstances is your neighbor. And as we've just read in section 162, this is one of the teachings that has been a part of our journey in the restoration and is very much a part of who we are. From 162, you live in a world with new challenges. And that world will require new forms of ministry. And the church is admonished to prayerfully consider how calling and giftedness in the community of Christ can be expressed in a new time. We do live in a world with many challenges that we have never faced before as a human family. The world seems to be broken and many are in need of healing. Our Judeo-Christian heritage teaches us that we're all called to be co-workers with God, to repair the brokenness of the world. And for this movement in particular, that responsibility has been a part of our vision for over 180 years, to build God's kingdom on earth what we have called Zion. And I'm so glad we sang that, uh, that first hymn this morning. Recognizing that we can't fix everything, we should still have faith as individuals and as a congregation to do what we can. What new forms of ministry can we share with our neighbors to express God's calling to the Mission Road community of Christ? using the gifts that we have been given and that are present right here in this room. The richness of cultures, the poetry of language, and the breadth of human experience permit the gospel to be seen with new eyes and grasped with freshness of spirit. It is for a divine purpose that you have been given the struggles as well as the joys of diversity. So must it always be in the peaceable kingdom. Do not be defined by the things that separate you, but by the things that unite you in Jesus Christ. That's from 162.